Hello YouTube. I wanted to show y'all something special today. Since I've been collecting silver off and on for the last decade or so, I was into Inglehards right away. If you've watched any of my past videos, you've heard me uh, tell the story of how my wife's dad uh, really got me into silver and when he laid out a bunch of silver on the table a lot of those were Inglehard bars so a lot of my initial research went into Inglehard silver and when i did it was it was a rabbit hole uh, there was a lot of information on all Inglehard.com about Inglehard silver as well as many other refiners but initially it was within a few weeks of research, I came across this British Hallmark collection. These 400 gram ingots and and I was immediately smitten. It, it became like a grail piece for me. Definitely something that I knew that I wanted. Only to find out that they're very, very hard to come by. And when I collected some time ago, if you watch some of my videos from six, seven years ago, maybe, uh, you see that I had one ingot, uh, I believe it was this one, and that was it, and, and those are hard to come by. I think if you look around on eBay, the auctions, or even the auctions on the Facebook pages, each, each one of those things will get up between six, eight hundred bucks. And that's, that's not even the full set. It's not the container. It's not everything that comes with it. Uh, and so to actually get a full set is pretty rare. When they initially started, their intention was to release 25,000 of these uh, as sets, vintage. But they stopped after one year. <clears throat> and so allinglehard.com estimates that about 5,000 of these were released and I'll tell you that not a lot of silver makes it through the decades uh, for various reasons and I could tell you even less of these plastic containers and and this presentation even less of those made it uh, I, not a lot of these come up for sale very often I haven't seen a lot of them. You see pictures, but you don't really see people with them. And so I had the opportunity to trade someone for this one. And I gave uh, about an ounce of gold for it. And so the price on this set, as it sits right now, would be about... I paid about 2200 bucks for it. I think it's worth more than that. I think I, I got a great deal. It looks amazing uh, that looks absolutely outstanding it's definitely a grail piece for me and it, they're meticulous. They're very, they have a whole lot of character. These Inglehard London bars, just like these, uh, all the stamps and things they put on, uh, amazing bars. But these, even more so. These bars have more stamps than almost any other piece of Inglehard silver that I've seen. And it, a lot of this has very specific meanings. Like the Leopard's Head is the London Assay Company. The Anchor is the Birmingham Assay Company. The Crown is the Sheffield. The Castle uh, and this other stamp is the Edinburgh. There is a, the U uh, that you see denotes 1969, just like the year. Uh, and that's when all these were released. So all the stamps mean something. And 
when they were released, they only cost for an entire set back in 1969, they were $79.95. And you can get an individual bar for $22.95. And they only sold, like I said, for that year, and then they uh, ceased the mintage on them. So only about 5,000 of them were uh, out and about. And they did sell individual bars, and then they sold some bars without the stamps, which are also rare. And some come in their own little containers. Uh, you can find those, but a lot of those are very expensive as well. But this is, is pretty amazing. Uh, I didn't think that he was going to give me an opportunity to trade for it. Uh, I told him I had about an ounce of silver and I was looking for some Inglehart stuff. And and he actually put this on the table as an option. And I immediately knew I had to have it. This was my one opportunity. But And uh, if you look around on YouTube, you could probably find a few videos where I think Mineral Exchange, he's, he showed one before. But you won't find many videos of people actually that actually own it and have it and talk about it. Because uh, I did research and I, I couldn't find anything. If someone does, uh, please give me a link to it in the comments. I would like to see theirs as well. But yeah, I just uh, wanted to share this with you guys. I think it's a pretty special piece to the collection. Uh, and if I didn't mention it before, each one of these bars, they're 100 grams a piece. So a little more than three ounces a piece. So about 12 ounces of silver total. But they're pretty amazing pieces of silver. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe.